Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a quick look at how to set up a template in Excel. Say you have a document like an expense report that you lay out the way you want it and you just want to keep using a new one every week and not have to recreate the layout every time. So let's see how easy this is to do in Excel. So here I've created a simple expense report and I've laid it out. I have not saved this file yet. This is a brand new file I've just created but have not saved it. And it has a couple formulas. It has the formatting like I want it. And I want to just have this document available every week that I can fill out and submit it and not have to recreate it every time. So once I have it laid out like I want it, I'm just going to go up to do a file, save as, and Excel's going to ask me, where do you want to save it? I'm going to say my desktop, but that's really irrelevant because when Excel saves a template, it's going to save it in a very specific location. So it's really doesn't matter where you say you want to save it. It's going to put it in a specific location. So I'm going to say desktop, but when I go to choose the type of file, I'm going to click my down arrow here and go down to Excel template and I want to save it as a template and you can see Excel is going to put it in documents custom office templates even though I selected a different location that's where it's going to put it so I'm going to call this expense report template and I'm going to click on save so now it's saved as expense report template so I'm going to go ahead and close it now I come to my very first week and I want to use this document to fill it out and submit my expenses. So I'm going to go to File and I'm going to choose New and notice here there's Office and Personal. I'm going to select Personal and this is where the templates that I've created are located. Under Office, even though you see it there and it would include any ones that you created in this area, there are lots of templates that Excel has available to you. But if you just want to see the ones that you've created, select personal and there's the one I just did. I'm going to select that and it comes up here and now I can fill it out. So I'm just going to put in my name and it's from let's say 10 1 19 and notice I had a formula to add a week to that. Meals, I had $180 in meals for the week, $350 in airfare, $125 in lodging. I didn't rent a car. I took a taxi, maybe had $10 in parking, $175 in entertainment, and $15 in other. So now I fill this out, and I'm going to save this. And Excel says, okay, where do you want to save it? And I'm going to put it actually in this uh, G folder here, and I'm going to call it 10119 expenses, and I'm going to hit save. And so now it's saved that I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now, if I open up that G folder here, you'll see there's the file I've created, 101 expenses. But if I go to File, New, and go to Personal, and open up Expense Report Template, notice it comes up blank. So now I can fill out my next report. Again, I can put in my name. Maybe I'll put 10, 9, 19. It adds a week. And just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to say 25 bucks and fill it all in. I'll hit Save again. Where do you want to save it? What do you want to call it? Well, I'm going to say expense report uh, 109819. And I'm going to save it in the G folder again. I'll hit save. I'll close this folder or this file. And again, next week I go to new. I go to personal, open up my expense template. And again, it comes up blank. And again, like we said, Excel will store that if you go to your documents and then there is a custom office templates folder. There's my expense report template. So I can 
open it up from there if I wanted to. I can delete it at this point. You see I have a couple other templates that I've made. And now I can keep reusing that blank over and over. And when I save it, it'll save the completed document where I want to. And then I can always go to my file, the personal selection, and open up the template. And I'll get my new blank again. And that's how easy it is to create an Excel template in Excel. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it beneficial, please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog at my website, excel-bytes.com, or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day, and happy Exceling.